This is Twit. All right, uh, let's let's move on to speaking of being Linux. Let's move on to some Linux news, and uh, there was kind of a big security thing. Rob's got the uh, the story here, but I was watching this too. It's not the sort of security news that we want to see. But Rob, tell us about it. Yeah, so here is a cautionary t- tale to uh, be careful. Over the past week, and you know, the last about a week ago now, around the time we were recording this last show, the official Zubuntu or Xubuntu, as some of you may think of it as, but it's Zubuntu website was compromised and briefly served up Windows mal- malware to users who were trying to download the Linux distribution. Instead of the legit- legitimate Zubuntu sor- uh, torrent, <laughs> the site offered a file called zubuntu-safe-download.zip, and when extracted, the zip contained a Windows executable and a fake terms of service text file. The Zubuntu team reacted quickly, and once they were notified, they they were t- they took down the affected uh, download page and confirmed that the direct ISO downloads and checksums were never altered. Only the torrent link was replaced, and it appears the malicious file was uh, live for no more than a day or two. According to the snapshots from the Wayback Machine, the page looked normal on October 11th, but by October 18th, the fake zip had appeared. The good news is that the malware was designed for Windows, not Linux. And if you're following the typical directions on how to in- install Zubuntu that involves downloading a ISO and put it on a USB and booting up to it, you would have noticed something wasn't right when the link didn't even serve up an ISO. The malware reportedly tried to intercept cryptocurrency links copied to the clipboard so anyone downloading from a Windows machine could have uh, been at risk for it. But, uh, but for experienced Linux users, they likely spotted the warning, warning signs pretty easily. A Windows EXE coming from a Linux distro site, it's a little sus right there. So... <laughs> I know Ubuntu used to have a, a EXE that allowed you in, to install Ubuntu from Windows years ago, but mm-hmm. that's not a thing anymore. Also, uh, Zubuntu lead Sean Davies said the team will accelerate efforts to replace their aging WordPress site with a static version. Team member Elizabeth Krumbach Joseph added that the issue came from a lapse in their hosting environment and that the group is still in triage mode investigating how the torrent link was hijacked. This incident also highlights an ongoing problem with website security uh, in, in, the, in the open source projects like this. Uh, even when the software itself is solid, the website behind it often relies on shared or outdated content systems like WordPress where a single vulnerable plugin can open the doors to attackers. So for now, anyone who wants to safely download Zubitu can use the official Ubuntu CD image server. And again, there's no indication that any other Ubuntu flavors or infrastructure was affected. Indeed. Yeah, it it's a little startling when something like this happens. Um, because that could have been so much worse. If it had been a more sophisticated actor that that got in there, right? Because I mean, imagine uh, instead of just replacing it with a Windows executable, what if they replaced it with a an ISO that was completely the same, except it ran a script on the resulting system? Like, yeah, that would have not- been smart. But let's that's not get not the main terribly, ideas. Well, yeah. <laughs> so that's the that is the uh, the blindingly obvious thing to do. I'm not giving anybody ideas. Anyone worth yeah. their salt would be able to figure <laughs> that one out. Um, the, the 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 malicious actors are listening to our show right now, being like, "Oh, why did I do that?" <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Um, yeah, they're, they're probably thinking it was a Windows game or something. Didn't even think Linux. I I would imagine that that's what it is. Whoever did it wasn't even aware of what they were were fiddling with. But it does sort of make you stop and think, like, what would it look like if there was a more sophisticated actor that did something like this? Um, and we've seen a few things. Uh, there was the attack on NPM. There's been a bunch of attacks on NPM, but there was one about a month ago where 
what the, the code that they injected actually went and looked for additional MPM tokens, and it was a self-replicating worm. Um, I can't remember what they called it. It was a Dune reference. It was a reference to the worms in Doom. Um, but it was a, worm? No. Um, I'll find it for you. It's but but what it was doing is it was looking for NPM tokens and it was attempting to insert its own code into additional um into additional uh packages, libraries. Um okay, so uh Sh- Shai Halud is the term from Dune that refers to the the giant worms in the Dune universe. And that is what that particular bit of malware was called. Uh, and then there was another one this week um, called Glassworm. At least that's what it's being referred to as. And it is similar. It is a, a worm inside of VS Code extensions. And so when you download a compromised VS Code extension, it will do the exact same thing. It will immediately go out and look for source code for other VM ext- uh, VS Code extensions and attempt to insert itself into that and then upload it. And so these are the sorts of things that, like, more sophisticated malware authors are doing. Um, and it terrifies me whenever I hear of something like, you know, a, a Linux ISO got replaced. And in this case, it was, it was just, it was nothing. It was dumb. Like the thing they, the thing they did with it was, was ridiculous, but there are some groups that are very sophisticated. They're doing stuff like this. Um, yeah, it'll be intriguing to see the first, like really interesting attack against the Linux uh, infrastructure. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing they attacked the, the turret link because that helped hide the source. You know, they didn't have to have a mm-hmm. download server out there that they're feeding it out on, which right. makes me think maybe they are, they, they weren't somebody in some, I don't know, odd third world, odd, whatever country that, that doesn't worry about hiding it. Somebody who actually did not want to, you know any traces back to them it's possible um yeah it's hard it's hard some, to say some script I, kitty in 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 somewhere in america wow. yeah oh, very yeah very possible and from the timing of it uh you could almost suspect that it might have been somebody trying to get some uh windows users thinking about going to uh yeah Linux. that's that's possible that it was sort of related to the end of 10 thing. So, you know, maybe maybe what these guys do is they just look for popular torrent links and then go try to attack those. Um, I could imagine it being something like that. If you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out the Untitled Linux show. You can find us in your favorite podcasting app or subscribe to our YouTube channel down in the links below. See you there. <laughs>